Okay, yes people, welcome back to another video. It's been about a month since I've uploaded uh, Foot Manager mobile videos. They're coming back. I've got a video that I'm editing. Um, but I've been editing it every now and then. I haven't really been went to upload as such. But I thought I'd upload this video first before I upload my Foot Manager mobile videos. Because, obviously, you're watching this, you're struggling with this personal settings one failed to load situation. Um, and so I've been, I've been struggling for months, absolutely struggling for months. Um, I've been researching and it said the best thing to do is add guests, um, and do it that way. Then when you get into a menu, switch back onto your main account. But if you're a person who likes career mode like me, then you've got to create a new career mode and then you've got to back out of that one. And then you can load career mode because it just comes up with new career mode. You can't load or continue. Um, but today I found out a way where... You won't get. You won't have to add guests no more. You won't have to do any of that. You won't get the personal uh, settings one file to load come up. Now, I weren't doing this. I was uh, to try and make a video. I was just really getting a bit pissed off about it. To be honest, I deleted the app, installed the app, and it just didn't work again. So, you guys have to trust me on the fact that I've had it. You know, I've oh, any of my mates have had it. But you'll try once you try this and it works for you, you'll understand this is exactly how you do it. And this is not an ad guess. It's, I've not seen anyone do this on YouTube before. Um, I'm the first one who's found out about this, I believe. Um, it's just by pure luck because I was going over it. So I was over this. You go to basically, you go to customize and then you go to profile. Now, if you want to click load FIFA 2 profile and you have this issue of personal settings, one file to load, you won't be able to go into it. It will come up with personal settings one file to load. So there's no point going on to that. Okay. So what you go is you go to delete. And when you go to delete, you come up with all these things here, right? You want to delete your personal settings one. Now, as you can see, this is recorded on the 24th of July. And I've made new personal settings on the 24th of July 2020 at 8.07 p.m. Now, what you want to do is delete your personal setting ones. You may have one or two. Uh, if you have more, you have more. Delete all of them. That's here. Make sure they're all gone. And once they're all gone, perfect. Then when you do what you do, once you don't, once they're all gone, you delete them all. So say for example, I'm not going to delete these ones. I've just done it. But if I want to delete a career mode, we'll say a flex hundred. You want to delete the flex hundred career mode. But this is what this is what you want to do for your personal setting one. But this is personal settings one, right? Click on it, yes, delete. That's it, and it'll delete. Once you delete all your personal setting ones, you then um, dashboard the app. So you go on the app, or you press the Xbox button or PlayStation button, quit, and you relaunch FIFA. And when you relaunch FIFA, you're going to get things um, like, um, do you want to use these control settings? Like you're starting up FIFA again because it's new personal settings, right? You just do yes, I want to just do my controls like this, standard, how you usually have the controllers. Uh, so you just press yes, and then um, it will say something else, you just continue again. Um, and then once you've done that, it will come up with uh, Ultimate oh, Team and all this sort of stuff, like you're new to the game when you're not. I'm not going to lie, when I saw this, I was like, oh no, it's reset my level and everything like that. As you see here, I've still got my my everything here and um here it's 13 minutes past eight and the uh settings here were 807 so literally about five minutes ago five six minutes ago uh i've done this i thought i'd make a quick video for you guys that's how you do it you won't have this issue again at all because when I, when I loaded back into it, I was like, okay, it's worked. Let me delete, like, dashboard again, see if it works again. It worked again. I didn't get the message. I've finally figured it out, and honestly, I'm just relieved. I'm happy I can help you lose a lot. Let me know in the comments down below how you got them. It's worked for me. I don't know if it's a 100% fix, but it's worked for me. So let me know if this has definitely helped you guys. Um, but, yeah, people, thank you for watching, and I hope you sorted out your problem. Peace.